Hello, it is 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines we have. The end of internship of the first administration application course. Climate change, July 2023, warmest month ever. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, the Minister of Youth and Culture, uh, Dr. Hibo Momin Asowe, yesterday received in her office is a team introduced by the Director General of the Agency for National Promotion of Culture for the promotion of culture made up of the Arab Tita Authorities, Director of Training, Ghanam Saber Hassan Ghanam, the Marketing Managers of the National Tita of Mogadishu, Abdurrahman Mohammed, the Moroccan State Designer, Dr. Tariq Rebhi, and uh, the Moroccan Director, Mr. Amin Nasser, uh, present in Djibouti as part of a training course in the techniques and practices of the theatrical arts initiated by the Arab Tita Authorities in partnership with the National Agency for the Promotions of Culture and the National Theatre of Mogadishu. The guests is shared with the ministers their first impressions and the media impact they had observed in the Arab world on the programs and the remarkable conditions of the executions of the gr on the ground. Mr. Ghanam uh, then explained to the ministers uh, the opportunities offered by the executive board of the Arab Theatre's Authority to support theatres in the Arab countries and underlined it the desire to make Djibouti the regional training and exhibition center to offer Arab and African countries in the region a chance to breathe new life uh, into their respective theaters, a uh, project uh, that for a regional theaters festival and support for academic theater initiatives will soon be implemented uh, to further promote this art of form in Djibouti. The minister welcomed these uh, proposals and emphasized that the ministry is also working in this direction to meet the needs for training for more professionals in the performing arts in general and theaters in particular. This morning a solemn ceremony was held at the Camp Sher Osman to celebrate the closing of the first military administration specialization courses organized in the Republic of uh, Djibouti. The, the ceremony presided over by the chief of the general staff of the army forces, General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, was marked by pride and recognitions for 32 students, officers who have uh, brilliantly completed this first rate training course.
the ceremony marked a major turning point in the history of uh, the Djiboutian army, demonstrating the ongoing commitment to strengthening, to strengthening skills and knowledge within its ranks. يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يضيع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما صدق الله العظيم. في هذا الوقت الذي يحصل في هذا الوقت الذي يحصل في هذا الوقت The training, the first of its kind in the Republic of Djibouti, reflects uh, the strong commitment to excellence uh, and innovation within the armed forces. It marks a significant welcome a milestone in the professional development uh, of the students' officers and will undoubtedly contribute to further strengthen the operational and administrative capabilities of the Djiboutian army. The event concluded in a climate of celebrations and hope symbolizing the symbolizing the beginning of a new era of uh, competence and efficiency within the Jewish army, this closing ceremony will remain engraved in the annals uh, of uh, the Republic of Djibouti. Suleiman Aden Ateye avec une moyenne de 15,98. Troisième, lieutenant Wahib Issa Moumin avec une moyenne de 15,70. Quatrième, sous-lieutenant Sahel Mohamed Waïs avec une moyenne de 15,58. Cinquième, sous-lieutenant Hassan Moussa Dabele avec une moyenne de 15,53. J'invite le chef d'état-major a remettre le certificat au lauréat. Finally, the Harbi folk group created a vibrant atmosphere with their captivating musical performance and songs. Uh, their patience and devotion through music offered a moment of uh, rejoicing and uh, camar camaraderie to all participants, marking the success of this closing ceremony of the administration's training course. <laughs>
The prefect of Tajara continues his tower of contact after Randa. He paid a visit to, today to the sub-prefecture of uh, Dora. The prefect Muhammad Hamad Abbas uh, was accompanied by uh, delegations including the heads of uh, the, the concentrated services. Uh, he was warmly welcomed uh, to Dora by an audience made up of the region's elected representative. Uh, and uh, as well as a representative of the decentralized uh, government uh, services and civil society organizations. Uh, he was welcomed by the sub-prefect of uh, Dora, Mr. Abdallah Kamil. He then met with the sub-prefect of Dora, Abdallah Kamil, as part of this initial contact. The meeting took place in the presence of the military authorities, numerous executives and representatives of the civil society. The new prefect of Tajura, Mohammed Hamad Abbas, uh, first thanked the people of uh, Dora for their warm welcomes and then uh, outlined the purpose of uh, his uh, working visit. Uh, he thanked the various political and civil figures present at uh, this uh, meeting and uh, they voiced uh, their grievance and proposed recommendations. Uh, the new prefect uh, said, uh, took note of everyone's uh, comments and also promised the population of uh, the area of Dora that he would pace on their concern to relevant ministerial departments in order to remedy the, them as, as soon as possible. Yesterday, the headquarters of the Ali Zabih Regional Council hosted a ceremony to award funds to some 120 orphans uh, from uh, the multiple single parent families. Uh, they are granted of uh, funds of an uh, envelope of 50,000 50, Djibouti francs uh, per child is entirely financed by the World Islamic League. Uh, the World Islamic League implements various educational programs around the world in direct coordination with regional and international uh, governments uh, to provide tens of thousands of people with a quality education. The Islamic World League sponsors tens of thousands of orphans worldwide taking care of their various health and education needs. It also focuses on their training and qualification for the job market so that they can go on, the, on to serve their countries. In addition to the sponsored children and their mothers, uh, the event was attended by the acting prefect of Ali Sabih Saeed Awabiri Asoui, the president of the regional council, Sharmaki Hassan al -Lale, the member of parliament, Abdel Kharibou, the league's representative, Omar Hassan Dide, and the members of the Islamic World League, uh, first uh, members of the, this NGO, reminded the audience of uh, verses from the Holy Quran, praising the bravery of those who devoted themselves to helping children who have lost one, of, one or both of parents. For her part, the, prefect, the acting prefect of uh, Ali Sabih, Saeed Awabiri Asoui, reminded that uh, those uh, reminded that those uh, present of the importance uh, of such a gathering such a there is nothing uh, more noble than helping orphan uh, children with uh, no financial resources uh, she urged the mothers of uh, sponsored children to make the best use of this financial the islamic world league sponsors 10 tens of thousands of orphans worldwide taking care of their various health and educational needs. Uh, it also focuses on their training and qualification for the job market so that they can go on to serve their countries. The Association for the Young Development of uh, Hol Hol, in collaboration with the CDC of Hol Hol, organized the finals of the summer football tournament yesterday afternoon with the participation of a dozen teams. Uh, the 2023 summer uh, football tournament So it's a final played in the Barry Owl Stadium in Hol Hol uh, in an atmosphere full of the aim of the tournament was to strengthen the bonds of community life and the development of young people during the school vacations. Uh, the final pitted Hull Hull sub prefectures team against the CDC of Hull Hull team. The sub prefecture teams uh, won the editions of the 20. 
2023 summer tournament at the end of the match the winners and losers all those who had distinguished themselves at the tournament were called up to receive awards and trophy from the hands of the officials. It is in his interview, the separate tech thanked the Minister of Youth and Culture, Hiba Mumin Asobe, for her unwavering support of the region's youth and stressed uh, that he would always stand by young people. For the international scene uh, in Liberia, a country that has been building ships uh, since uh, the, 20th, uh, the 20th century, so will have 16% uh, of the world's fleet by 2023. The country has uh, the world's largest shipping registries with over 5,000 vessels in 2022. The maritime industry has contributed to 30 million dollars to the national budget according to the figures from the maritime authorities of liberia uh, with an average of uh, with an average fleet ages of uh, 12.6 years uh, the liberia strengthened its maritime construction regulations in 2023 sealing a five-year construction safety certificate with mandatory 18 month uh, background checks the GDP growth in West Africa is expected to reach 3.9% in 2023, according to the African Development Bank. The outlook for GDP growth in the West African region is positive and should increase uh, slightly to 3.9% in 2023 and 4.2% in 2024 due to the dynamism of the agricultural industries and services sectors, among others, economic growth in West Africa is estimated at 3.8% uh, uh, in 2022, according to the African Development Bank. Regional growth will be driven by the dynamisms of the agricultural industries and services sector, among others. Uh, this growth would be uh, driven in particular with, uh, by low uh, resources intensive uh, economies such as uh, Cap Verde, Togo, Senegal. Guinea Bissau, Benin, uh, Gambia, and uh, Cote d'Ivoire, and by a few other resources intensive countries. In Portugal, over a thousand firefighters uh, are mobilizing in Odemia, Odemira near the Algani, Algani tourist region. It's nearly 10,000 hectares have already burned. Hundreds of the firefighters remained mobilized on on Tuesday evening to combat a fire that has been raging for four days in southwest Portugal, which, like it, its Spanish neighbors, is experiencing an intensive uh, heat wave that has put most uh, of the Iberian uh, Peninsula on alert. More than thousands of firefighters supported by 10 aircraft were deployed near the southern Portuguese tourist region of uh, Algania where almost 10,000 hectares have burned since Saturday, according to the latest assessment by civil protection commander uh, Victor Vaz Pinto. And in July 2023, the hardest month uh, on record, the record so with, the, with disastrous uh, consequences for the world, uh, July 2023 was indeed the hottest month uh, ever recorded on Earth, uh, as confirmed yesterday by the European Copernicus service uh, detailing data that have uh, sent all counters uh, into the frenzy last month marked by heat waves uh, and fire fires across the globe was uh, 0 0.33 degree warmer than uh, the month that uh, held the record until now July 2019, which average of 16.63 degree. Air temperature were also uh, uh, 0 point uh, uh, t t 72 degree warmer than the average of uh, in 1991 2020 for july's copernicus reported it's in in its uh, built-in and so this uh, edition comes to a close thank you for watching us good night and for all and have a good evening <laughs>